Wow, hi, Andrew Pelt coming to you today from the event 2021. I've just got off the roster. It's been nothing short of spectacular, despite having to navigate through COVID regulations with limited numbers. We had a record attendance at the time of filming this. We're only just partway through the auction. We've already recorded hundreds of bidders and we've sold just about every single property that's been submitted. The most frequent thing that I've been asked by both the media and indeed people at, at large is how strong has the real estate market started in 2021 and what's driving it? I'm certainly in a position to answer that today. In the first three weeks of this year, in the lead up to today, we recorded 6,347 buyer inquiries through multiple platforms and conducted 3,431 inspections of properties. That's over four weeks. This is an all time record. One property received 233 inspections, but typically we've had 50 plus inspections through most properties. And of course, here today, the sales activity has been phenomenal. Where is the buyer inquiry coming from? This is another frequently asked question. We're still compiling all of the stats in this area, but we've been reporting for quite some time interstate buyers are very active. Most properties recorded more than 25% of their inspections from interstate parties, yet in certain property types, that's been as high as 50% of all of the inspections. Many in-state buyers came to the Gold Coast for both a holiday and with an intention of buying a property at the event. The volume of in-state buyers is no surprise, but what is amazing is they can make up as much as 50% of those people inspecting properties. So the next question was, what marketing has caught the attention of those inspecting? Well, three prominent sources. The first is our database that has been amassed over 30 plus years, hundreds of thousands of people who've bought or sold through us over all of those years or inspected properties with us. Not only do those clients continue to buy through us, but they're now introducing their children to our office. The second source are the digital platforms such as realestate.com and Domain. However, many buyers are people who don't follow digital platforms as they're not actually looking to buy. And this is why print media is still such an important tool. And it's the third most prominent way of attracting buyers. Print these days, of course, is not just the newspaper, but all the digital platforms attached to it. And it was interesting to know that the properties that only uh, people only saw through digital inquiries did not get as many as those did digital and print. Now, the reason for purchasing, well, for the locals, they're brimming with confidence about the Gold Coast and its future and about the real estate market. For the interstaters, it's either to relocate entirely or to have a safe haven. A good percentage of people are aware that they will not be traveling overseas for quite some time. And so they want a property to either live in that provides them a great lifestyle or one that they can come to for a holiday and a safe haven, given that most people expect more pandemics in the future. Two quick last points. Tonight, we have our prestige auctions of 16 stunning Gold Coast prestige properties. They're part of the event program. Over the past 30 years, we've sold more prestige properties than any other agency on the Gold Coast. We pride ourselves of not being a flash of the pan agency, but one that delivers consistent results in this space year on year. I'll be pleased to give you a report on the strong activity in this segment of the market in my e-newsletter next. Last point, we have literally thousands of buyers who've missed out on properties uh, during the course of this January. We have a huge pool of pent up buyers. If you're thinking of selling, please contact us today on our hotline shown on screen now. This truly is a rare opportunity with some red hot buyers desperately looking for a property. I'll give you a further update on the huge success of the event in my next new letter. But in the meantime, I wish you all the very best and I'm signing off from the event 2021.